I'm Carissa Morocco. John Dewey once said, education must lead to personal growth. Education must contribute to humane conditions and education must engage citizens in association with one another. We are here to reflect how our service learning experiences support this statement. Education must lead to personal growth. To me, this means that learning new things and going through new experiences must result in one growing as a person, mentally or physically. For one of my volunteering experiences, I worked at the Precinct 15 voting poll to the general election. There, I learned how to sign people into the name book, and I greeted voters at the door and instructed them where to go. I learned more about myself during that experience. I learned how to deal with different types of people. I learned that there are more talkative people and people who don't want to talk. I learned how to deal with, with stress and conditions when people are relying on me to work with me. These experiences have definitely helped me to grow as a person and will help me in the future, whether it be with jobs or with future relationships. I learned many things while mentoring 8th grade students. For one, I learned how to connect with these middle school students. I also had the opportunity to advise and prepare these students for high school. Because of this, I had to take away the most valuable lessons I learned during high school in order to properly prepare them for their future. Additionally, I strengthened my leadership skills by leading group discussions and projects. Another part of John Dewey's quote was, Education must contribute to humane conditions. This is a thought that is so important to making the world a better place. What people learn in school and what they learn through helping others needs to contribute to the well-being of people on a larger scale. For, pe- for one of my projects this year, I volunteered at the crop walk. At the event, people walked a course and the proceeds went to people with a lack of food. During this experience, I saw many people take time out of their day to go and walk and donate their money to people in need. This was both an experience in which I learned and saw people help the needy. Education and service truly do help to advance humane conditions. My service learning impacted the conditions of others by contributing to their needs. When I volunteered at the Hershey Public Library, I directed patrons to the location of their desired books. I also assisted the other workers at the library by doing some of their work for them. By doing this, I helped the workers save their energy to do more important tasks. The last part of John Dewey's quote is, education must engage citizens in association with one another. In October, I volunteered at the Special Olympics. I met a lot of people and learned about some of their lives. This education helped me understand how they lived. Many of the people there may have also met each other for the first time, and they may have made new friends and connections. The people there, both volunteering and participating, met others and experienced new social interactions. During my service at the polls, I came in contact with many different kinds of people and I was exposed to new social situations because of this. For example, I talked through registration with adults around the area and I communicated between my coworkers and I. These experiences have not only impacted others through the services we've done, but they have changed and benefited us also. Because of this, we'll be doing much more service learning in the future.